Abacha never visited the West throughout his five years' reign. How did such monies get there? Shehu Sani, welcome to the news and please subscribe to our channel. A former federal lawmaker representing Kaduna Central, Shehu Sani, has reacted as the government of the United States of America returned $20.6 million Abacha loot. The money recovered was part of a money that was allergy stolen by the late head of state, General Sani Abacha. Reacting to the development, Shehu Sani stated that the late general was never in the good book of the West. He added, the country was literally under sanctions. He never visited the West throughout his five years reign. How did such monies get there and who were the hidden hands behind all this? Only his name is heard. Since Oshie Hussani posted on Twitter with thoughts, Abacha was never in the good books of the West. The country was literally under sanctions. He never visited the West for all his five-year reign. How did such monies got there and who were the hidden hands behind all this? Only his name is heard. The recent tweets by Shehu Sani on his verified Twitter handle has generated lots of reactions from his fans and numerous followers on the social media platforms. Sincerely, if it is true, then who assisted him? I think I think he was even gone past this particular destiny. You know? So this man still get money even after all the one we didn't collect. Now wow. Imagine all the monies we have been recovering from Abacha. Just imagine. Imagine one man having access to all those monies. Like, and sometimes, you know, it just struck a chord in me like, ah, well, how, what did this man intend to do? What did he intend to do? And nobody should bring the, the, the crappy story of he's a military clinical clinical. People spoil as spoil. As in, people who don't dabaru this country, they don't dabaru them, whether they're military or not. As in, Human is human. If you're disciplined as a human being, whether you're a military officer, whether you are not, your disciplinedness, you understand. You go show forth. He's somebody. This person now, permit me to say, is this kind of person not going to be stealing? No, I'm just asking questions. He's not going to be stealing. Now, this is why I say our life is going to reflect. I saw one quote where somebody says, somebody did, people, some people do not have the money to pursue their bad lifestyle. That you think some people are good because they don't have money to fund their bad lifestyle. That if they have money to fund their bad lifestyle, you will see their true character. And I think it is true. I remember that I tell us about, you know, um, what's it called? I used to talk to us about, you know, how our character, how discipline, if, if you want to, if you want to, you know, want this country to be better. For this country, we, the electorate today, are going to be one upon a time. We're going to be governors. We're going to be senators. We're going to be half of reps members. We are going to be local government chairman. We are going to be presidents. So if our character is as bad as, just imagine that you are somebody who is not disciplined, that you take what does not belong to you. You understand? Then I don't see the difference between you and this person. How to tell you? This is the loose that one man, just in his five years rule, he wanted to milk this country dry. Money where you don't know as the use come. Or your owner. Just stick. Just stick. Ha. Now what? Now wow. Now what? This one eh. Why are we so much interested in the loot of the dead and forget all about the loot of the politicians now? Is the the one that make us to buy a liter of oil for 250 naira and a bag of rice for 45,000 naira? All this talk of a is a distraction to us. It's not a distraction anything. What is bad is bad. Do you know had it been that money? You say our power sector now is still is still collapsing. Before you know you go yeah, national grid don't collapse. Before you know you go yeah, national grid don't collapse. Do you know how much that money would have solved the power sector problem? Even the educational sector that they are going on strike. Do you know how much money would have solved it? Even our economy. Do you know how much money would have solved the problem? Are you aware? What are you saying? I'm going to come down to us, of course. We can still chase after the ones and get them. But I'm just imagining how one man could pull it off. One man, they steal this kind of money. Nothing, they soap. Huh. Oh, wow. 
if those money had been used developmentally and for economic growth, we might not be in much problems. So all join. Exactly. If this money had been used to solve some, most of our problems, then we are not going to be here. Those were the days of oil boom. You recollect? The problems we have now just started since, since, okay, since just, since oil just got boomerang presently. And that is the truth. We are living, we are always, why are the living always making more people of the debt? Has anyone been able to ask the rest generals how much the stock or store? Why they have turned them into consultants in politics making? My own is the man. See this one. People cannot stop me from saying it. Yes, the living also took their own. Of course, of course, we could discuss their matter on a very good day. Do you understand? Maybe you're one of the hidden hands that helped ferrying the money to America. I don't know why people are always attacking Sheikh Hussani anytime he makes a post. What is the problem of this Sheikh Hussain? The Sani Abacha needs to visit the Western world to deposit stolen money. There are so many aids to do that for him. She will please tweet only when it is absolutely necessary. So I don't want to make this man talk about um, Abacha loot. Hey, come on now. Wow. Abacha is not alive today to defend himself. So whatever they said about him, nobody can refuse to defend it. Abacha was a business and throughout his years as a military officer. Those close to him can attest to that. Even before he became the head of state, during his tenure, Nigeria was never in debt. The Naira remained stable. The price of petrol remained stable. He was not romancing the West, yet his government was developing steadily. With development. <laughs> Somebody don't ask him. Okay. Please, tell me how old are you when I better took over after the previous and the administration that came after him? Well, let me enlighten you about some of Abacha's development developmental achievement. He was the only other state in Nigeria that used money saved from petroleum to publicly develop critical infrastructure around the country, such as highway, hospitals, university laboratories, and other sectors. The name of that intervention was PTF, Petroleum Trust Fund. Go and verify. Abacha built the biggest housing estate in the entire West Africa. Go and verify. Throughout his stewardship, he never took loan and he left billions of dollars in foreign, foreign reserve. Go and verify that. So when people don't Talk, don't just rush to insult them because a well-trained and brought-up child respects other people's views instead of insulting them. Well, let me say this, so my own is, so this one is trying to say about you no steal. My own is, you have to be held accountable. You walk, oh, you know, walk, does not give you permission to steal. My own is, I'm, I'm screaming just because this one is still there, which means there's a possibility we still have more. Hmm. Okay. All those money was meant for the importation of food and other things for our country, Nigeria. Take it or leave it. Hmm. Okay. All right. Okay, on this note, we have come to the end of the news. We say thank you for turning in to listen. 